Tigers, I'm Sutton. And I'm Cannon. Welcome back to WCSN. We hope you are enjoying your Friday so far. I know I am. I've been wrestling with my excitement for Thanksgiving break all week. Speaking of wrestling, let's send it to Rose for a segment on Warsaw's wrestling program. Good morning, Russell Tigers. I'm Rose, and today we'll be taking a look at the girls' wrestling team. I was able to interview some of the girls to see their thoughts about the new team. Um, I'm Talia, and this is my first year wrestling. Um, I'm Kaya, and this is my first wrestling year wrestling, too. I'm Kenny Yoder, in three years. My name's Natalie Davis, and I've been wrestling for three years now. My name is Emily Dawson, and I've been doing wrestling for one year now. I just joined because it was said that it'd be good for me, so I didn't really have a particular interest until then. But now that I've joined, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to learn because I find it very interesting. Uh, I joined because I needed to stay in shape for rugby and become I stronger and more like aggressive I guess. Um, well I walked in to practice one day in like eighth grade and I just like kind of fell in love with it basically. <laughs> I think that since we have our own team now we're more noticed and appreciated and we're just considered more of an actual team instead of just girls on the boys team. Agree with what she said. Um, I, de I definitely enjoy it more. Um, I feel like we're actually incorporated into it, and we are, we're definitely more of a team. Mm -hmm. I think it's super cool because not most of the sports here, they don't really have a girls team, it's just clubs, and there's also just not enough girls wanting to join because there was never really enough. Thanks, Rose. It's great to see so many kids are embracing staying active. Tis the season to eat turkey, but what's Thanksgiving without enjoying the crisp air with friends and family? On that note, let's watch a story on our school's outdoor education program. Describe this class. Well, it kind of got off the ground in 2019. Coach Howard and I got it off the ground. Um, started with Outdoor Ed 1, and it's, Outdoor Ed 1's kind of grown. It's where we get our Hunter's Ed our hunter safety course, uh, our boater's ed, and archery, a lot of conservation and ecology going in early, l talking about non-government organizations like the Wild Turkey Federation, uh, Whitetails Unlimited, Quails Unlimited, um, and then it kind of branches out into OE2. You gotta take OE1 to get into OE2, but OE2, we get into deer hunting and turkey hunting and um, some shooting sports where we actually take a day and we go off campus and we shoot at Costco. I think this class is important um, mostly to get, help get kids outside. Um, the art of being outside is something that's kind of been lost and between hunter's ed and boater's ed, and we've got a lot of kids in the lakes, um, archery, hunting, fishing. I think it's just important to start to reconnect back with nature and being outside. Why should people take this class? I think people should take this class for the kind of the reason why, um, I, I kind of talked about it already a little bit with getting outdoors is kind of a lost art. Um, we're so buried in our phones, our electronics, that the ability to get outside and enjoy the outside and ways to enjoy the outside, whether it's hunting, fishing, boating, trapping, um, even just from simple ecology and you know plant identification, animal identification, um, is a huge benefit to, to anybody who tries to take this class. Um, I, 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 there's no there's no negative. There's no negative to getting outside. Only thing I'm not looking forward to is keeping up with the leaves. As a matter of fact, the Student Council has just a solution. Now sending it to Margo for a story on the Rake and Run fundraiser. Rake and Runs are a great way to help the community. Recently, many clubs at our high school have been participating in Rake and Runs. Today, I am with Student Council and Environmental Club at the Oakwood Cemetery as we rake up leaves.
So basically, Rick and Run is just like a really good service opportunity, and you can come out and you can help your com community for literally nothing. Like we're out here for three hours just raking leaves. Uh, so we are raking leaves at Oakwood Cemetery um, to help the uh, make it look nicer. Well, I mean, as you can see here, there's some graves behind me that have just leaves in front of them and it's hard to see. So we're helping preserve the history of Warsaw and this local cemetery. Thank you to all the clubs who have helped our community this season by participating in rake and runs. Thanks, Margo. Those leaf piles aren't going to rake themselves. Let's hear from the Elijah segment on the folks behind our prop production, Tech Theater. Um, I'm a little bit interested in theater, so I kind of wanted to try it out, you know? And I like building. I like to be, get creative, and that's a lot of what this class is about. I cut out the brick for the walls for uh, My Heart Says Go. I built the prototypes for the uh, stands for the propellers for our next show, uh, The Promise of the Moon. I built those. And then I kind of just help around wherever I can. I paint. I was like on the painter's team at first, building tables, painting. Then I got switched to just more building. I learned to not be afraid of power tools because they, they're not that scary. But when you start, they're scary. But they're, they're really not. You just learn a lot about building, and then you're not scared of building anymore because you built. And then you're going to want to do stuff when you're at home. I was mostly painting and in charge of the mural we did. I started by researching about the show and where it was located, went through design process of what I researched, and then I designed the mural. Um, we were trying to go for a graffiti look while also keeping it appropriate. Um, we wanted it to be bright, like a joyful kind of vibe. I didn't realize how creative and how in charge I could be. It was a good experience that I could show my creativity and show my art in a different way than I usually do. Many of you may have noticed the blocked off area by the baseball field and the old tennis court. Construction has played a huge part in WCHS, and the sports fields are no exception. The baseball field is currently under construction, receiving new restrooms, concessions, and a press box. Similarly, the old tennis court is being turned into a maintenance building. I can't wait to see the new and improved building and field. That's all we have for your construction update. How interesting. That's all we have for today, Tigers. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with us here at WCSN. Always remember the golden rule, Tigers. Treat others as you would want to be treated. Stay safe and stay smart, Tigers. We'll see you back here next week.